What's up, guys? Welcome back to Very Really Good with Curtis Connor, the weekly podcast where I talk about shit that I think is funny. Um, if you're new here, what the fuck is up? Finally, it's episode 16. Where you been? Been doing this for 15 weeks. You know how many weeks that is? You know how many days that is? 15 times 7. Number's too high. I don't even know. I don't even know. Does that number exist? I don't think so. This is this is fun. Uh, I life's good. We're chilling. Um, I'm in my fucking underpants, but you don't know that because you can't hear it. You can't hear the lack of pants. You can't see it either because it's from tits up on the video podcast. Tits up. Tits up. Uh, not much. Hey, guys. <laughs> um, real quick, this uh, this podcast is sponsored by Curtis Connor. So go ahead and share this podcast. The only um, show everyone that you're listening to it. Tell all your friends about it. Um yeah, just do it up. Let people know because this this podcast is is the best. Um, obviously, we got a good episode uh, this. I feel like I've I feel like I haven't uh, done a podcast in so long, so this feels good to get back and just talk talk shit. You know, it's good. What what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I saw Avengers: Infinity War. Crazy fucking movie, guys. Crazy movie. I cried probably four times. It was like not like the like tears going down my ha- face being like <laughs> It was like the like the you know when like your lip quivers and you're like man like you're just like fucking sad. That happened. It's crazy. Um Marley dies. I didn't even know Marley from Marley and Me was in it, but the dog showed up and was like, bark, bark, and then it died. And then all the Avengers were like, no. It's pretty sad. So that's why I cried four times. That exact thing happened four times. Pretty nuts, dude. Pretty, it's a fucking crazy movie. Like, it's, it, it already made, in, like, pre-sales, it already is the most... Like, before it was even out, it already was, like, the most popular movie ever. Which is fucking crazy. It's not even, like, people haven't even seen it yet, but they're already giving all their money to it. And it's beaten every movie ever. And it's gonna, it's gonna make, like, billions of dollars. Isn't that fucking crazy? Jesus. But it's it's a good movie. You should go see it. I'm, like, such a fucking, like, Marvel fan, though. Like, they could literally put... It could be three hours... Of a CGI Thanos taking a huge shit. And it's just like, he hits a three hour shit and it's a battle. And he's just like, arr, 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 and it's a galactic shit. <laughs> um, and I'd still buy tickets and be like, that was the best Marvel movie I've ever seen. I want to go see it again. That was awesome. That one part where I thought he wasn't going to shit, and he did. It was awesome. Thanos' shit must be huge, dude. He's a big guy. Hulk shit must be insanely big. You know what's really funny? <laughs> if, like, the Hulk has to shit, right? What if, like, like the Hulk shits? He has to. But he's also Bruce Banner, right, Bruce? David Banner. Fucking, I don't know the name. Big Marvel fan, I say, and I don't even know the the name. The Hulk is a regular guy, right? And what if he really, really has to shit when he's um, a human, but then something bad happens, and the Avengers are like, hey, you got to turn into the Hulk now. And he's like, I got to shit, though. And they're like, what the fuck? The the universe is going to die. And then he turns into the Hulk, and um, he goes to take a poo really quick. Because it has to get out of his body, and he poops, and the Hulk poops, but it's a human-sized shit, <laughs> so it's tiny, a tiny poop, because <laughs> the poop wouldn't grow inside of him. That'd be weird. His poo doesn't turn into the Hulk. It doesn't get green and angry. It turns brown and mushy, because it's shit. But it wouldn't go. It wouldn't grow. So the Hulk would be pushing out. He, the Hulk would really have to shit, and he'd be pushing out this tiny turd, this tiny human-sized turd. And you'd be like, oh, well, that didn't do anything for me. That's, oh my god, that's so funny. Wow. (laughs) 
Hulk taking a, uh, just a baby shit and being like, oh, finally. And all the Avengers are like, first off, did you just shit? Second off, why was it so small and why does it feel so good? It shouldn't feel so good if that's small. Because small shits don't feel good. What am I... Th- five minutes in, I'm already talking about shit. Um, I'm 23. Believe it or not. Actually, I'm turning 24. Before the next episode is out, I'm going to be a 20... This is my last... Oh, my God. This is the last podcast I'm recording as a 23-year-old. Ah, that's scary. This is the last one. From here on out, it's all going to be just 24... Comedy that relates to 24-year-olds. So I'll be talking about... um, Nothing fucking happens when you're 24. That's fucking sad. Nothing, like, special happens. You're just like, it's another year. I don't have anything exciting happen for the rest of my life. Really, it's all sad. You know, <laughs> like none of the good, none of the all the good birthdays are gone. Like you know, like ten, you're in double digits. You're like hell yeah, dude. Thirteen, you're like I'm a teenager now. This is sick. Sixteen, you're like I can drive now. This is fucking sick. Eighteen, I'm an adult. I'm a legal adult. I can I can vote and buy lottery cards and gamble and shit and and uh, buy cigarettes. I think. Um, Nineteen in Canada, you're like oh I can. I can just go buy a beer and have it. I can just drink it. And then 20, you're like, okay, I'm in my 20s. Cool. This is cool. And then for the next few years, you're like, all right, this is the the 20s. And then there's never one like, yes, I'm 30. It's going to be like, oh, God, I'm 30. And then after that, it's going to keep getting worse. All my good birthdays are gone. That's sad. But so if you are listening to this and you still have those good birthdays to look forward to, cherish them. Cherish them. (laughs) Whatever, I don't give a fuck. It's just a number, right? 24. I'm going to be 24. I'm going to be an old man. Not really. 24 is fine. It'll be a good year. It'll be just like 23. But I feel like my hangovers are getting worse. Like, I was, I got pretty drunk last night. And, um... Fuck, man. It was like... Like, I drank enough to be like, okay, I'm drunk. But not enough to be like, I don't... Like, I remember everything from last night, so I shouldn't... But my hangover when I woke up this morning, I was, like, in the shower, sitting cross-legged this morning, being like, don't throw up, dude. Do not throw up. You have to go to work in literally 10 minutes. Um, But I didn't throw up. Maybe that's what growing up is all about. (laughs) Getting absolutely shit-faced and then yelling at yourself until you don't throw up. That is adulthood. This is 40. But hey, we're we're doing fun. This podcast is keeping me young, I think. This is the this is the the, the podcasts are the fountain of youth. <laughs> That's the secret. That's what God was talking about in right? Is fountain of youth a religious thing? I don't know. That's what God was talking about. He was like, the fountain of youth will give you eternal youth and you'll you'll live forever. He meant podcasting. It's an it's a metaphor. Podcasting extends your life because you're listening, you're expanding your horizons. And you're talking it, you're talking stuff. I think everybody should have a podcast. Everybody on the planet. I think there should be 8 billion podcasts. Just kidding. There's too many right now. Everyone's getting a fucking podcast. Logan Paul's getting a podcast. Logan, let me say that one more time. Logan Paul is getting a podcast. What the fuck is that guy going to talk about? I feel like I've talked about this in my podcast before. But hey, what are you going to talk about, Logan Paul? Yo, what's poppin' podcast? We're back with another fucking episode of Low Gang's fucking podcast, where we talk about dabbing on haters and wearing shirts with my fucking name on it. So you ever see a dead body in the forest and you're like, fuck, man, get my camera. If you ever have done that, then you, you're listening to the right podcast. Get my, get my camera out. Get my camera out. There's a dead guy. I want him to, I want my lens to see this dead guy. Welcome to my podcast, the podcast about filming dead people, and it's going to be called My Fucking Podcast. That's what an episode's going to be like. It's, be, it's going to be that for an hour, because he's loud, and he yells, and he doesn't know how to be entertaining. He's just loud, and being loud isn't entertaining. Like, I'm pretty tame, I think. Other than that, but I was playing, I was, I was playing a character. Um, my fridge... Like, I'm pretty tame, you know? I, I'm i pretty quiet for most of the time. 
And I think I, I like to think I'm entertaining. I like to think I can sit down for a good 45 minutes to an hour and at least entertain for a good 10, 20 minutes of it. You know? But, like, Logan Paul is just, like, the, like edited down into, like, 10-minute chunks. And even that is a lot. He was a lot on Vine. And that's six seconds because he was just yelling and being like, Look at me! Look at me! And look at my brother, too. But look at me more. <laughs> it's just not... Not good. Not good. Logan. Of no shit, your name's Logan. I don't think I've ever met a cool Logan. Never. I've never met a Logan that was like a nice guy. <laughs> Logan. Hygen. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get Logan. Um, We got some... Great topics. I've written down like so many. I usually have like a like a pretty good amount, but this week we're overflowing, dude. We're absolutely overflowing, dude. Um but let's get into it. I've this I got some pretty funny ones, I think. Um Okay, so this start I'm starting this off by um a thing that I always say. It's something I saw on Instagram that kind of weird me out. Not this one didn't piss me off. I'm just like, what the fuck? Um so there's like and disclaimer, I'm not trying to make fun of any of you if you guys do this or you have an account like this, but there's some people who have entire Instagram accounts um, based on them going to Disneyland and like Disney World and say the names like Rebecca. It'll be like Rebecca's Disney Adventures and it'll just be like different pictures of Rebecca at a Disney Disney World or Disneyland. And the, the the pictures are always really well done and well edited, and like they're like a they have a lot of followers because you know people like Disneyland apparently, um, but it, I don't get it. Like it's it it's obviously it's the most it's the least harmful thing. It's like I shouldn't be complaining about it because there's way worse things on Instagram, but to me I'm just like I just don't understand at all. Like you like that's that's it. You're going to drop hundreds of dollars every year to go to the same place and meet the same actors who are portraying characters and be like, ran into Robin Hood again today. He remembered me because I'm here every day. It'd be weird if he didn't remember me. But it meant the world. Here he is. Like, Disneyland's not even that fun. Sorry. You know? If you're a kid, it's the fucking world. You know, it's the best place ever. But if you're an adult, what what you doing? <laughs> go go bowling. <laughs> hey, if you're an adult, I want to go up to every adult at Disneyland and be like, go bowling. Okay? Go bowling. Or go to Universal. You live in fucking Florida or LA. There's Universal Studios you can go to. And hey, no offense, but Universal Studios is way more fun than fucking Disney. There's yeah, you got what do you got? You got Harry Potter Land. There you go. You got Springfield. You got the Mummy Ride. Uh, yeah, you heard me. The Mummy Ride with Brennan Fraser. So I don't know. I don't get it. I like. There's nothing to do if you're an adult at Disneyland. Like you can meet the the people, I guess, and be like, "That's cool." Like I used to watch you when I was a kid, but no, I didn't because you're not a cartoon. You're an actor pretending to be a cartoon, but you're also a real life person. You're a walking cartoon. Can I get a picture though for my Disney account? I don't know. Go like I'll go look these things up. Literally, just search Disney and you'll find one. And people like they go there every day or every weekend. Like you got it. You could. They could be the most fun theme park ever, and I'd still get fucking bored of it. Cause wh- like, what do you do? You ride ride. You wait in lines with kids, and ride rides with kids, and you're just like, hey. This is my life, and this is my Instagram. We got... I want someone to do that with, like, fucking, like, targets, you know? I want I want someone to start an Instagram being, like, Jessica's target journey. And then she goes to every target in her area and just posts her in front of target and is, like, I'm at target again. I love it. The general manager recognized me again because I'm here every day. 
hey, this is my life. That I I'd follow that shit. That's funny. That's cool. I'd like because that's like that's more honest. But Disneyland, go once. Go once and you're fine. Go once. Actually, never mind. Once they open that Star Wars shit, I'll be fucking. I'll be there probably. And they own Marvel now too. Fuck. Disney's gonna take. They're gonna own this podcast soon. Um. Mark my words. They're gonna own it. Um. But yeah, that was just uh, my uh, my 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 weekly uh, opinion on uh, Instagram things that I don't understand. Hope you guys are enjoying this podcast so far. This is fun. I'm chilling. We're chilling. You're chilling. Um, you know, it does make me happy when I uh, I see tweets and messages about like uh, people looking forward to the podcast on their commute or their mornings or just like during class. It's really really cool. Um, because like I don't know when I was I don't know. <laughs> Like, when I get to listen to stuff, when I'm doing stuff, I'm, like, I get excited, and I, like, prioritize that over things. I'm, like, oh, I, I get to listen to this now. So, it's cool that I'm that for other people, too. So, thank you so much for those messages. You guys are fucking sick. Um, 16 episodes. Wow. Sweet 16. Gonna spread my wings. Curtis's podcast. My It's my chance to shine. Curtis's podcast. Discovering. Curtis's podcast. So much more to life. Curtis's podcast, Sweet Sixteen, by Hillary Duff. All right. Um, <laughs> uh, I got another thing to talk about. There is a. I saw this video. Um, there, I've seen so many of these fucking videos of like people. They their whole idea. They're like they'll be YouTubers, content creators, and um, they'll pretty much go up. It's it'll be like nighttime and like a, a busy part of a city where like there are a lot of bars and they'll have like a full like setup of like a mic they'll have like a mic to be like hey what's up hey like a like one that you hold you know and um they'll also have like a lighting and like a camera guy and then they'll go up to like people in line or like on the street that are noticeably drunk and then they'll be like so hey what do you think uh we're here with this fucking girl and what do you think of um what do you think of uh, climate change, and then the drunk people will be like, "Cause they're drunk, they'll be like, I don't know. It's it's bad. I'm I'm gonna go see my friends now. Like it's like they'll just interview drunk people, and that's their video. Cause that's comedy and it's creative. Cause you know what, drunk equals funny. Cause people fall down and say things that they wouldn't usually say. <laughs> ah, God, that's funny, dude." Nice, creative, and groundbreaking even to to walk up to a drunk person with a camera in their face, being like, "You, hey, d- would you want to would you want to kiss me or something?" And then the people would be like, "Yeah, cause you're drunk." So no shit. So no shit. So if. Like, this is the laziest form of... It's like... Okay, here's the thing. It's a lot of work, but it's so lazy. Like, it's so much work because you got to get a camera guy. You got to get a sound guy. You got to buy all this equipment. You got to get... You have to be like, hey, Friday night, we're not drinking, guys. We're not going out, all right? We're filming this fucking video. And then they all get together and they plan it. And they write out these questions and they go. They take a fucking cab or an Uber or drive there. And then they're like... All right, so where do we go to first? And then they go this, and they go like for hours and hours because it's not all usable, of course, because it's all probably drunk idiots, people off blow being like, oh, shut up, dude. Yeah, yeah, dude, can I eat this? Can I eat this camera? Let me do it. I'll eat it right now, dude. Um, you can see the inside of my stomach, and it'll get so many views. It'll be called, um, wash the inside of this guy's stomach. And then, you know, he'll just snort coke off of his own dick somehow. And then, um, whoops. But you can't use that on a YouTube video. So they got to do like hours of fucking like, Hey, what's your name? Okay, so you're drunk, right? And they're like, yeah. And they're like, and they're like, fuck, perfect. And they ask these stupid fucking questions. Like these are the. It's so lazy because like you're just like, hey, the whole thing is like drunk people are crazy, right? And of course the guy's sober who's asking the questions, and the whole time he's like looking at the camera, like, come right? Am I right? Am I sober or what? <laughs> That's what it is. Is looking at the camera, being like. No, I'm sober, and these guys aren't. Isn't that fucking funny? They're saying some stuff that I wouldn't, because I'm not intoxicated. Whew. Now that's funny, dude. That's that's so funny, man. Be better. Be better. 
I would rather watch Thanos take a shit on me than um than fucking watch that video. So if you're watching or so if you're listening or watching and you make those videos or you think that they're good, uh, change your opinion. Got that gulp on there. Drinking some water. You guys just fucking water tastes so good sometimes. <laughs> Twenty one minutes. Water's good. <laughs> Water's like good though. Um Oh my god, dude. Okay, yeah, this happened. I need to talk about this too. I was um Oh my god, I'm getting mad just thinking about it. I was walking, you know those okay, I don't know if this happens everywhere, but um there's these people when you're walking down the street and these people will be like holding clipboards and have like a vest on or a shirt that'll say like Amnesty International or like World Peace or fucking whatever. And they'll be like waving. They'll be like, because they're on the street and they're ready to like um, talk to you and like get you to donate money and stuff. Like, I don't know if you guys have experienced this, but if you're in like a big city or something, you'll probably, you've probably seen them. And the fucking audacity of these people, <laughs> the, the gall, the gall of these folks. They'll literally, like, I'll be walking down the street, and then this person who's working for Am... I'll fucking call them out. It's Amnesty International. It's always you. It's always them. Um, they'll be... I'll be on... I'll be literally half a block away, and they'll be, like, waving at me, being like, Hey, dude! Yo, dude, what's up? And I'd be like, ah, uh, clearly I've headphones on, you fucking idiot. And then they're like, hey, hey, what's up? Yo, dude, you guys are gonna talk? Yo, dude, I like your jacket, though. And I'm like, thanks. Yo, but wait, you got a second to talk? You got a second to talk? And I'm like, nah, sorry. And they're like, come on, man, really quick. And then you feel, make they, they make you feel bad for not stopping, even though uh, I'm trying to go home, and you're in my way, and you're you're the one that's uh, fucking up my day. But you're acting like I'm fucking up your day. But you're fucking up so many people's days by just being there. And they're like, oh, come on, just talk to me. And I'm like, okay, okay, what? And this happened like four years ago once. And I like, I was dumb enough to stop and be like, yeah, what? What's up? And sh this girl talked to me for so long about it. And I was like, and she was like, yeah, you can like just donate like 10 bucks a month. And I'm like, hey, listen, <laughs> I barely have 10 bucks a month for myself. And I appreciate what you're doing for the charity, even though apparently they don't even give it all to the fucking charity because they got to be paid they got to be paid somehow people are doing this they're not doing it out of the goodness goodness of their hearts but she was talking and i was and she was like yeah it's just 10 bucks a month and i was like okay maybe i'll give you my number you can call me like not her like the i gave the fucking the company my number and be like yeah you can call me maybe in like a few months i might have money then and i shit you not they still call me being like hey you uh you want to donate no it's been four years. You think now I'm like, you know what? Now's the time. Like, how do you, oh, like, where do they find these people to do that? You know? I don't know where they find these people to do that job. To be like, you have to be so overly outgoing where it's like disgusting. Where people are like, yeah, dude, yo, dude, yo, dude, what is up? Like, literally your shoes are fly as fuck. Like, they're sick, dude. And then... You're like, thanks, man. That's really, that's really nice. You're like, yo, dude, like, literally, your shoes are sick. You know what's also sick? Donating to charity. What's up? My name's, my name's fucking Logan, and <laughs> we're gonna talk about, um, and I want you to donate some money. Or, like, I feel like they're literally, like, in the back of their mind, they're like, this guy's a fucking idiot for talking to me. I got this one. I got this one. He's gonna donate money, and I'm gonna get money off of him. But no, Logan, it's not happening. I just fucking, like, that's the last job I would ever do. If it was me doing that job, I'd be like, hey, okay, oh, you're, in a, you're in a hurry. All right. Oh, hey, hey, do you want, uh, okay, you're eating, you're eating pizza, okay. Um, hey, sir, do you, do you want to donate money to this, uh, the charity real quick? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. Don't do it, man. We don't give it all to charity. I'm, I'm just here to make money, you know? That's what I would do. Because don't lie. Don't lie. 
No, 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 baby. No, 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 don't lie. That song. Black Eyed Peas wrote that song about people who fucking try to get donations on the street and wear those stupid pennies. <laughs> pennies. <laughs> pennies. You guys remember pennies? <laughs> From, like, grade school when you're in, like, gym class and you needed to be on a team and you're like, put on the red pennies because you're the red team. Or, like, just put on a penny because we don't have, they're all different colors some for some reason and the school's too broke to afford new pennies. So put on these pennies. Pennies. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know why pennies. The word penny is so funny. Hey, mister. <laughs> hey, mister, where are the pennies? <laughs> Oh, man. That's funny. Um, but, yeah, fuck those people. Don't have that job. Like, I get it. Like, you have to make money, but... Ugh. Don't. Don't make money. I'd rather not make money than do that. Well, that's not true. But you know what I mean. Fuck that job. Fuck that job. Welcome to another episode of Fuck That Job, where I talk about jobs that fucking suck. <laughs> what else sucks? Fucking... Toilet paper tester. You gotta wipe your ass all day? It's gonna bleed. You're gonna have a bloody asshole. Bloody asshole! Bloody asshole! That's gonna bleed! Your asshole's gonna bleed! Bloody asshole! Bloody. <laughs> Why do they use that? Why do British people use bloody as like a like a thing before to say before other words? I wouldn't, I wouldn't even call that an adjective. Bloody hell. Bloody fuck. <laughs> Bl- <laughs> Bloody personality. Bloody. Uh. Or is it just before an exclamation? Like, bloody hell. No, it's not. Because it's like, oh, my bloody foot. But even it's not bloody. Bloody mom. <laughs> <laughs> bloody mom bloody mom get out of here ah bloody mom always always fucking grounding me bloody mom <laughs> bloody mom might be the podcast title um oh man i don't even know if this is funny but i wrote it down um I take the streetcar, which is a... F- I take, like, a bus. I'll say, I'll say that because everyone knows what a bus is. I, I pretty much take a bus every day to work. Um, and I, everyone's got headphones in. Everyone's looking at their phone. Like, no one's talking to each other. But, like, I... I, my, I wish my superpower was, like, sonic hearing so I could hear what everybody's listening to. Because 100%, there's someone that's on their way to work who's just listening to rock and roll. <laughs> Isn't that the funniest fucking thing in the world? Like, they're literally just, like, they're just, like, sitting, they're, like, standing, like, holding on to, like, a railing so the, what, they don't fall over when the bus stops abruptly because the biker ran in front of it. And they're just, like, holding on to it. And in their head, they're just, like, not even, no, not, not even not in their head. They're just, like, looking around, just, like, looking at the window stuff. And in their, in their ears, is like, because I'm bad and black. Cause I'm back in black! Like, that's in their ear, and they're like, yeah. I like this song. <laughs> Rock and roll, dude. <laughs> that's so fucking funny to me. I don't know why. Literally just, like, rock music. Like, from, like, the 80s and shit. That they're just, like, in their ear being like, yep, this is my day. I was made for loving you, baby. You were made for loving me. And it's just like him, and they're just like listening to that. Like ACDC and Kiss and like Def Leppard. And they're on their way to work, and it's 8 in the morning, and they're 100% listening to that. That's so fucking funny. I don't know why, and I never will, but wow, that's funny. Or like soft rock. Like they're listening to like Carlos Santana. <laughs> <laughs> that's so fucking funny I mean like I listen to fuck I someone who listens to that is probably like it just thinks the same thing about m- people like me listening to whatever the fuck I listen to in the morning oh this guy's listening to um, 
This guy listens to a literal crime podcast first thing in the morning at 8 a.m. and listens to stories about people being murdered and shit. What a fucking psycho. Because that's it. That's actually crazy. I don't know why I do that. Literally, like, when I... In the first hour of being awake, I'm, like, hearing stories of, like, yeah, and his body was uh, severed. And um, each individual body part was actually mailed to everybody in the world. And I was like, oh. And I'm like, yeah, uh, it's 8. It's 8 a.m. And that's fine. I don't know. True crime. It's fucking crazy, dude. It's, it's cr- like crimes. As if people just fucking kill people, you know? What the fuck, guys? Hey, murderers, if you're listening, God, stop it. What are you doing? And, like, it's it's different if, if it's like, yeah, he was, um, this guy actually, like, sexually harassed this guy's daughter for years, so this guy, like, went over his house and beat the shit out of him until he died, and then he went to prison, because you're not supposed to do that, but, like, at the same time, you're not supposed to sexually harass kids, so maybe, like, let it slide, um... But yeah, then like those I understand because it's like I don't understand because like don't kill someone. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, like the person fucking got it coming. Like if you're gonna be a shithead, then you're gonna get murdered. Um, but some but when people are like legit, like yeah, uh, they left their door unlocked. So to me, that was them saying, yeah, come on in and fucking kill me. Hey, maybe. Maybe you just say that in your head one more time and just try to think that through. I mean, I know mental illness and I know that's literally pretty much behind every like murderer, but I just it's baffling to me. That's like someone is just like, "Yeah, and I want to I want to I want to fucking I want to eat their toes, literally. I'm going to cut them off and eat them." Like, what the, what? Why, dude? Why? Fuck Eat a eat a carrot and pretend like the rest of us. <laughs> you know, it crunches just like a toe. I wouldn't know. Ooh, bars. Crunch it like a toe. Not that I would know. Carrots do crunch like toes. Hey, that's something I never said before in my life. <laughs> um but yeah, fuck, man. Like, don't, don't be fucking a creepy guy. Don't be a creepy murderer. If you're a murderer, be like, oh, do this. Like, I'd love to see like a, a murderer who isn't passionate. Like, who was just like, why'd you kill those people? And they're like, eh, well, I was bored. Well, like, do you have anything to say to the families? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I'm like, I'm sorry. I feel really bad. Shouldn't have had a kid and I wouldn't have murdered him <laughs> like a really just like <laughs> that's fucked just like a one who's just like not passionate he's like I don't know I'm bored like fuck are you done can you sentence me so I can go and kill people no you're going to you're going to jail you can't kill anyone yeah I know but like after that I'm like after I do jail time I'm gonna go kill again like and then the judge is like hey even if you were getting out you're serving 30 life sentences in a row like even if you were get out it's you saying that lets me say, no, you're never getting out now. And he's like, yeah, I know, but, like, like after the 30 life sentences, like, I'm gonna go and kill people. And they're like, yeah, you don't know how that works. And they're like, actually, I do. And the judge is like, oh, shit, true. You're free to go. And then the guy kills the judge. Oh, what a roller coaster. I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write that into a movie. It's gonna be called The Dead Judge. Produced, written, directed, starred by Curtis Connor. Starred by. Yep, fuck me. That doesn't make sense. Starred by. Uh, have you seen the new Joker? It's starred by Heath Ledger. <laughs> the new Joker. Hey, what the fuck am I saying? The Joker was in the movie. It was a Dark Knight. Have you seen the new Dark Knight movie? It was starred by the by Heath Ledger. He played that Joker. <laughs> um, yeah, the the Da Vinci Code is starred by Tom Hanks. Thomas Hanks. <laughs> I am National Treasure 2 is starred by Nicolas Cage. I don't know what an accent that is. Um... What else if I can talk about? I got a bunch of shit. I might even like save some of these for the next um, um, podcast because there's a lot of topics. Oh man, okay, we're talking about this. This was a tweet that I saw, and I'm gonna read it as it was tweeted, and you guys will have. I'll hope you guys understand. 
why I'm pissed off about it. But this was by a certain YouTuber, Instagram person, um, social media star. She tweet, uh, They tweeted, Know your worth, ellipses, then add tax. They literally opened, they got out their phone, open, unlocked their phone, opened Twitter, pressed the compose new tweet button, typed out, know your worth, dot, 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 then add tax. And, and said, okay, send. <laughs> you know? And they sent it, and they tweeted it. Know your worth, then add tax. Good sentiment. Good sentiment, I guess. Being like, okay, like value yourself, but also value yourself more because you're not valuing yourself enough. Good. Say that. Say that, please. Next time, being like, hey, love yourself more. Give yourself more credit. Say that. Say that, please. Don't say, know your worth, then add tax. Oh, so even in this, even in this fucking motivational tweet, you're going to put in capitalism. Hmm? Yeah? You're going to do that? Tax is capitalism, right? Or is that a democracy? I don't fucking know. You could do, you could, you could just put know your worth, then add a lot more worth. There you go. I did it better. I did you one better. Know your worth, and then add some, because more, you need to know your worth is more than that. Tax? 10%. Know your worth, but then add 10%, because 10% is the only amount of worth that you're missing. You're 90% of the way, but I get 10% more, and then you will have... Then that's when your worth is worth. That's your worth. 10% more. None not, not, not else. Everyone has the same sense of worth. Sh shut it. Delete the tweet, please. <laughs> Know your worth, then add tax. Know your height, and then add two inches. <laughs> know your weight, and then subtract ten pounds. Know your mom's name, and then change it to your dad's name. <laughs> know your mom. No, no, no. Know your know your mom's name, then add a Q. <laughs> know your mom's name. Then add a Q. <laughs> this is so funny. Name. Know your favorite number. Then divide it by six. And that's my favorite number. <laughs> know your worth. Then add tax. Know my ass and then eat it. Know my asshole and then eat, literally eat it. Literally pull out a fork and knife and gobble my asshole. That is what I want you to do. I want you to delete that tweet. I'm going to print out that tweet, roll it up real, real thin, and shove it up my ass. I'm not going to like it, and it's going to hurt. I'm going to get a paper cut on the inside of my butt. But I'll know. I'll know that I'm like, in, the, in my mind, I'll be like, fuck, this hurts, but fuck this tweet even more. This tweet hurts even more reading it. So I'd rather be in my butt. Know your butthole, then add a rolled up tweet. Know your ass, then add a tweet. <laughs> oh, man. This always happens. Like, right by the end of the podcast, I get into the fucking juicy shit, you know? And then those, those lames, those foo-foo lames that bail after the first 15 minutes, they miss out on all the good shit. Because this is funny. Know your ass, then add a tweet? That's probably the funniest thing I'll ever say. Until next week, folks, in episode 17. Stay tuned. <laughs> what if I did that? Like, teasers for next week's episode? That'd be fucking funny. Um, fuck, man. These are, like, really good topics. Um, I, I gotta do questions, too. Okay, I'll save those for the next episode. Because those are really, really good topics, and I'm really excited to do them. But, um... Um, yeah, I'll do go into the Twitter questions right now. Um, people, I put a video on my Twitter and I was like, hey guys, do me questions? And I'll answer some of the pod. So here we go. We're going to get into them. 
Okay, first off, Sleepy Astronaut um, asks, How will I know you answer my question if I don't listen to your podcast? Hey, you fucking listen to the podcast. Pretty easy. If you weren't... Hey, Sleepy Astronaut, wake up. And also get out of space, wake up. And listen to the fucking podcast. And someone responded. Someone fucking got them. Someone was like, I think the answer is you need to start listening to the podcast because it's quality content. And this person has the gall to say, nah, I'm too lazy. Okay. Go fucking, hey, sleepy astronaut. You might be joking. You might be a a big fan of the podcast, but I don't know. I'm going to assume that you don't listen because that's what you said. So why don't you go back to your job of trying to get people to donate to Amnesty International because 100% that's what you do for a job. (sighs) How do you feel? Oh, this is a good fucking question. Kiwi Dawn asks, how do you feel about the Gru meme? It's not good. That meme is not good, okay? And I'll explain it. I don't get it. (laughs) No, I do. I get it. He says, he says gorals. So people are replacing girls with gorals and putting Gru's face on it. And it's just not funny. There's only so many things you could do with that. Being like, oh, beautiful girl all over the world. And you put his face over. I'm singing a lot in this podcast. It's really annoying. Um, But it's a bad meme. It's not funny. I've seen people do like everywhere. And it's getting so many likes. And I'm like, what are you doing? I don't like that. Bad meme. That's my meme review. Nicole Aliens asks, how do I become as cool as you? You're so cool. Wow. Well, in the words of Lady Gaga, just dance. <laughs> you thought I was going to say born this way. Well, I fucking wasn't. Um, what are you doing for your birthday? Asks Aelin. Um, birthday girl in her name. Happy birthday. Um, for my birthday, I am going to go for brunch with, um, Jenna and my friends Jacob and Dean, probably. Um, and then after that, I don't know, probably just have a day, just chill, probably go to patio or something. And then at night, probably go out and just, you know, have a, have a, have a day. That's it. Um, Flabigail, <laughs> which is a really funny name, asks, uh, do you miss Vine? Because I do. I do, you know? I do miss it. I miss, like, like, I'm doing fine. I'm chilling. I got a podcast. I got YouTube videos. And, um, you know, life is sick. I'm really having, I, I'm, I don't, like, I'm fine without it. Um, but I do miss it, though. It was so much fun, you know? Like, um, like I missed the like 2014, 2015 vine where like, um, like I feel like everyone was just like, it was all happening to everybody at once. So everyone was like, oh sweet. We got to talk to each other and figure it all out. Cause we're all in it together. And then like it kind of everyone, well, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just a fucking asshole, but like everyone kind of, everyone just kind of stopped talking to each other. And like, I stopped talking to people. Um, and I was just like, I don't know, like, we all got to figure it out now. We all got to figure it out. We can all, we're all Viners. Um, like, I'm still friends with a lot of people. I just don't talk to them as much. But um, but I miss that when it was like, a, it felt like a community and stuff. And, like, everyone was just like, like, there'd be, like, a new hashtag that someone started. And everyone would be making videos about it and stuff. Like, th- that was really fun. I miss that. But, hey, Vine 2. Whatever. Killer Queer. Asks, uh, how do I cope with the soul-crushing nature of my minimum wage job and make myself show up to work every day? Uh, you just got to do it, you know? Um, I worked at McDonald's for a year and a half. Fucking hated it. I broke out like crazy. Um, I didn't talk to anybody. I wasn't friends with anybody. Um, and it sucked. It was the worst job ever. But hey, I needed money because money's good. And it, you need that to live. So I went and you did it. You just did it. You suck it up and you do it until you get a better job. And then it's fine. Um can you do a Shane Dawson impression? Ask Dre Cray. Yeah, here it is. Hey, what's up, you guys? Yes, we are back with another creepy video. There it is. 
Classic. I'm so good at impressions. Shane Doss is fucking funny, though. He's like my favorite YouTuber. He's fucking so funny. Um, What's your favorite Vine? Oh, that's a good... Qu- I'll end it on that. And that's from Kari or Kari. Uh, want you back styles. True. Um, my favorite Vine... Um, Fuck, that is a really good question. I think it... Ever since I saw it, one hasn't topped it. But it's the one with the, the girl blowing the big vape cloud at a party and that one guy turns the camera is like wow (laughs) it's so fucking funny dude i can't believe like that is literally modern art because everyone knows some fucking girl like that who would just be like standing in the middle of a party blowing a fat vape cloud thinking it's the sickest thing ever and then there's some jokes dude sitting on a couch high as or drunk as shit being like Wow. <laughs> Just make it fun of her. That's so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Like that's everything about that vine is so fucking funny. It reminds me of like a, a shitty party you go to in college or high school and there's some idiot who thinks they're so fucking cool, but they're not. And there's some fucking guy that no one like maybe he's popular maybe he's not but he's just a jokes guy who's high being like wow that was cool (laughs) just make it fun of her wow that's so funny the more i talk about it the more i fucking laugh um but that one's so funny because it's so just pure and real and just it's every it makes me laugh every fucking time like wow i really i oh i should get a, a wow tattoo oh i'm like heavily considering it like W R O W and like a cool font. Wow. <laughs> that, I don't know. That's a bit weird. If I did get it, I would not show anybody. It would just be for me. I'll get it in the inside of my lip. Wow. <laughs> that's my favorite vine. Uh, we're at 48 minutes. All right. I guess we'll wrap it up. Hold on. Uh, thank you so much for listening, guys. That was uh, that was episode 16, a very, really good podcast with Curtis Connor. Uh, with Curtis County. Why the fuck did I say it like that? Um, but yeah, thank you so much for listening. Uh, don't turn this off yet, okay? Wait. Um, before you turn it off, take a screenshot of this. Post it on your Instagram story right now. Get people to talk about it. Tell people, tell your friends about the podcast. Let's uh, let's let's grow it. Let's make let's let's make this podcast bigger than a Thanos shit. We need that. It's going to happen. Um, so, yeah, go do that. Share share it. Re- like, Rate and review on iTunes. It helps us out. It really gets the podcast out there. Boots it up in the charts and whatnot. So, yeah, um, thank you so much uh, for listening. I have been Curtis Connor. You have been you guys. And, um, yeah, peace out. Love you guys. See ya.